Hello and welcome to part 11 of the Johnny Blender 4000 JB4K series. This is David Ward and when last I left you we just finished uh, getting the rig attached to the to the model. So now that that's all out of the way we can put the rig on its own layer just to, so it's not in our way. So let's uh, go to object mode on that and just hit M and drag it down to that layer there. It's where I like to put the rigs. Okay so now we need to give this guy some uh, some coloration so he's not just a made out of clay type of thing and so one good thing to do when we do that is obviously to add some seams so let's tab in here and then since I added a seam around his head we'll go ahead and add one there too control E go ahead and mark that seam and depending on if I want to add one around the edge there as well I don't think so I think I'll add one down around the chin or around the jawline Control E, mark that one. But uh, the top of the head would be fine. Okay, and then I guess since the uh, well, I was going to add one around the uh, the eye lens or the uh, holder there, but uh, we're going to that's going to be a whole separate material. All the rubber pieces are going to be their own material, so we don't really need to worry about seams for them. But uh, yeah, so. We won't, we won't mess with that. But on each of these guys, we'll go ahead and add a seam around the middle. Excuse me. Control E. Oops, I think I. Control E. There we go. Mark the seam. And then we'll put one along one of the edges. Oh, I forgot about the. Uh, each one of these cross members here. So we can select all that inside there. Rotate around that so it'll be a little easier to work with. Okay. And then and then we'll select the loop on the circle. Oh, the circle's a separate mesh, isn't it? So that's fine. Uh, control E, mark that seam. And let's do the same thing on this one. Okay, control E and mark that one. And then we'll add down the side, down to there. Oops, wrong one. There we go. Now go ahead and mark that. Okay. And then this, the dome part, doesn't really need a seam on it because it'll just flatten out. Um, the individual teeth guys, we'll add one seam to that. Oops. Well, if I can select the right edge, just the corner. There we go. And then maybe across the top and bottoms. Oops. There we go. And maybe on this side as well. And let's see. I guess it'll need to open up kind of like a cardboard box type of thing. So we'll need to add seams on this side there. Oops. Let's just grab the edge select so we don't actually accidentally get too many selected too many vertices now we can go control e mark scene okay so now that'll unfold like a cardboard box okay so now uh the chest go ahead and put a seam there across the shoulder and good to go control e mark that and let's go ahead and add one around this guy as well Hmm. I'm trying to think of the best way to do this. Let's add it around the edge like so. Yeah, there we go. Mark the seam. Mark. Oops. Well, if I can select the right one, come on now. Control E. Mark the seam. There we go. Lord mercy. Okay, and we'll go ahead and mark the seam there on that top edge. And down here on this guy. Mark. Good lord. Mark the seam. Why does it. <laughs> Mark the seam. Stay on that selection. Jeez. Okay. And then the this light itself will be kind of like the, uh, the rubbery parts. It'll be its own material. Same thing goes for the lenses on the eyes. I think I'll make these all one light. Kind of like C3PO on Star Wars. His, his eyes will be lit up. Kind of uh, not like. 
you know, kind of like reflectors, but they'll be they'll be lit up, and it won't be yellow. It'll be like a soft blue. So okay. So just so we can get the rib cage uh, flattened out nicely when we unwrap the UVs, let's go ahead and add a seam around the bottom here. If I can... There we go. Control E, mark that, and we'll do the same thing on the top. Okay. Uh, did it do on the forearm? Are they upper arm now? Control E. Mark that. And then we'll add a loop around. Some of these you could probably get away with just cr making a metallic texture, but I would like to add some stain, some grease spots, and rust spots here and there. So we'll go ahead and unwrap it. Let's I like to, uh, as you can tell, I like to keep hitting the period button so it rotates around what's selected. So when I'm getting in there real close like this, uh, it'll be easier to uh, uh, to to rotate around and see what I'm doing a little better. Okay, so. Oops. And one more. It's getting kind of complicated up in here, isn't it? Okay, I think that'll probably work. And that's the beauty to <laughs> to having not applied that mirror modifier yet. I don't have to do this on the other side. So no matter how detailed I get over here, that's the only time I have to do it. Let's select uh, one section there on each of these bolts. I uh, don't want that loop selected. Well, if I can select the right one, come on. I spend most of the time in <laughs> this section just trying to select the right thing. Mark the seam, and I didn't do that down here yet mark the seam there and then we'll use one line up there to mark that seam and then around the circle mark the seam that's not really that important because we're not going to see most of that but, um, okay on the piston tank there that's actually going to be rubber as well so we don't really need to mess with that one uh, but the steel rod we will need to so let's mark that seam and then this bolt head up here and the one down below that you can see through there. There we go. Control E, mark that. And then on this hinge base. Go ahead and mark this one like so. Oops. This may not uh, unwrap, you know, the prettiest in the world, but uh, as long as we can get the the rusty spots and oil spots and things like that on there, it should be okay. So I deselect those there. Oops. Okay. And I go ahead and add that seam and then mark around these guys. Okay. So we're getting there, slow but sure. Then on the hand, and actually the forearm itself, I don't think I marked that one yet. Is that a loop around the edge? Like so, that'll work. Mark the seam, and then inside the elbow clearance area. I'll just do that one, I guess. Control E, mark that one. And then over on the hand, select around there. There we go. And then each of these 
fingers. Should be easy to easy to do those. It's just a, a loop around there. This is the very tedious part, as you well know, I'm sure. And around each of these bolts. Select the right edge. There we go. I think I hit mark sharp, didn't I, on that last one? Yes. Oi. It would be nice <laughs> if the pop-up menu would, re would retain the previous selection like everything else does. Mark seam. Thank you. And I did the same thing on this guy. Clear the sharp. There we go. Okay, looks like that one has the seam already marked. And that one, okay. Odd. And for some reason this didn't maintain the seam. There we go. Ah, must be out of the view. Okay, so looking good, looking good. Let's move on down the body. Get down to the hips. Same thing as on the chest. Go ahead and select the edge, and then we'll select around the top of it. If I can grab the right, there we go. And then go ahead and center around that so it rotates as we need it to. And we'll go ahead and add a loop around the leg opening. Go ahead and mark that. Okay. Uh, stand by. I've got some business I need to take care of. I'll be right back. Okay, here we go. Sorry about that. Just had uh, someone pop up on Facebook I had to talk to for a minute. But uh, anyways, continuing on, the uh, the rubber part for the top of the thigh is going to be the rubbery material. So we're not going to add a seam to that, but we do need to add one to the, just like on the forearm, or the, excuse me, the upper arm. Let's add one there. Control E, mark the seam. And same thing here on this, uh, on the uh, hinge thing down here. Let's add a loop around there, and then around there, and there, and let's go across, oops, go across here and across here. Apologize if this, uh, <laughs> the material in this particular section is very dry, uh, but it's very tedious work. Uh, guess I could tell you some jokes or something while we're while we're going. I don't know. Guy walks into a bar, falls down, gets a headache. I don't know. Select the right one. There we go. And there we go. Mark the seams. Okay. Now, uh, same thing on the uh, canister for the leg. It's gonna be rubbery, so we don't need to add a seam there. Go ahead and add one. Uh, around there, and then he, there on the rod, control E, mark the seam, okay. And then on the shin, go ahead and grab both sides of that. And then around the, make sure we select up there. Oh, I need to check on the forearm, make sure we did that on there too. Make sure that's the seams are connected there in the clearance area. Ooh, well, good thing I checked because it <laughs> did the old, the pop-up menu was not correct. It was the sharp, so clear that out. Oi, mark the seam, not the sharp. There we go. And make sure that's connected right there. Let's rotate around that so we can get a better view. Okay, good to go. Okay, now almost done. Uh, we need to do the hinge part down here. Oops. Oops. Oh, wait. Undo that. There we go. All right. And then while we're at it, there we go. And then let's go ahead and mark that. 
And we'll select around there. A lot of undos, <laughs> selecting the wrong section. There we go. I think, yeah, and then maybe that one, or that one. There we go. And mark that seam. Okay. Onwards and upwards. Almost done. So select the foot, and we'll just select across there, or maybe across there yes mark that seam and then across the toe mark that seam okay I think we got all the seams marked that we need to mark yes okay good to go go ahead and save this and as you know when I like to when I uh, I think I mentioned in part I don't even remember now, but uh, when I go to add, uh, apply one of the modifiers, in this case we're going to go ahead and apply the mirror modifier now, I like to save as another version of, of this file, just so in case I need to go back and fix something, I don't have to do a lot of extra work. So let's go ahead and save this one more time. Okay, then we'll save as in part 11a. So we'll go ahead and save that. And now I'm going to go ahead and apply our mirror. So now if we tab in edit mode, tab in edit mode, you can see that those seams are on both sides rather than just the one because it mirrored those over. And also, if we go to weight paint mode, you can see, uh, so right now we have shin.l. If we go to shin.r, you can see it's autom automatically, everything's painted correctly. So if we go back to object mode and turn on the layer that has our rig and grab that rig and turn it to pose mode, we can move things down on both sides because they're all automatically painted on already. So there we go. Now, um, hmm, let's go ahead and unwrap his UV coordinates, but I think I'm going to wait till part 12 before we actually start painting anything or going into uh, cycles and adding new materials. So. Um, Let's go ahead and select the mesh, and we're going to split this window by grabbing the diagonal lines here in the corner. Just click and drag those, and it'll split it up. And then on the cube box there, expand that out and go to UV Image Editor. And I'm going to go ahead and in, hit N. Actually, okay, go over to this window and hit T, so you clear out that, and N to clear out that. So you get a little bit more workspace. And I'm going to tab into edit mode, select everything, and hit U, and say Unwrap. And it's going to unwrap all of those um, UV coordinates. And you can see it's quite messy over here. So let's hit Control Up, and that'll make that uh, all the way up in the window. And the reason uh, it's 100% orange across here is because the things that we didn't mark with seams, all of the rubber parts, essentially, um, it's just kind of having those all on top of each other. So the way we can get those out of the way is deselect everything, hit our B button so we have our crosshairs, and then just click and drag so we can select that vertex there on the corner. Okay, and then we'll hit Control L, and then we'll just scale it down so it's like that. And we'll just move it over here, and we'll hit P to lock it there. And we'll select all these guys, and we're going to go UVs. Uh, average island scale and it made them all this roughly the same size according relatively speaking so now we'll go pack islands and it'll make them a lot smaller so it'll pack them in there a lot more evenly and since we added quite a few seams um, we had a lot of parts that we cut out like all of the little bolt heads and and this and the um, you know the uh, the hinge parts and all that that's all separated out and some of it is overlapping, like right there. We don't need that. Pack this. Hmm. I wonder why that's overlapping. A lot of it's overlapping. Shouldn't be overlapping. Let's go uh, select all these. Leave this section over here, but just select all these guys. Let's go you Actually, let's uh, unwrap those again. There we go. 
And now it puts him in there with, well, still has overlapping. Odd. Is that all one piece, maybe? It is. Maybe we missed. Ah, I see what happened. We missed a section right there to separate that out. So, that looks like one of the uh, one of the hinge pieces. So, let's uh, minimize or make that window smaller now. And we can s figure out which hinge piece that is by simply selecting these two hinge pieces there. And it looks like that's not it. it. must be the ones on the elbow. Yes. Okay, so that's going to be probably this guy here. We'll select that. Yes. Okay, so now we need to go in here and make sure our seams... Tell you what, let's control up, make this window bigger. Make sure our seams are connecting all the way around. So one thing that'll make this a little easier, let's hide uh, the cylinder. Go ahead and hit H to hide that, and then we'll select this, control L, and hide that. And why not go ahead and hide that as well? Hide. Okay, so now we can see Zoom in here. Looks like everything is connected. Hmm. Well, that should be separated. I'm not sure why it's not. I tell you what. Let's uh everything inside the uh the hinge part here. Let's select that and then around here and then around here and we'll go control E and go ahead and mark a seam on that maybe that'll help out okay so now if we control down it'll put the window back in place select everything and over here and UVs unwrap again see if that fixed that particular issue looks like it did the only thing we have wrong now overlapping from what I can see at a cursory glance okay we still have that down here is that this guy select everything yeah for some reason oh I see I was on the wrong wrong area of it it's not the end of it it's the the beginning of it so uh, let's make this bigger and I can see the culprit right there. Right there. So it's edge select tool. Boom. Mark seam. So there. Now that'll work. I'm going to do the same thing over on this guy. Zoom in. Well, select the edge first. And control E. Okay, so we got that all should be fixed now so control down and we'll select everything here and then select everything over here except for the box there so we'll just select everything like so and again UVs unwrap and now everything should be all set let's control up so we can see things a little better Go to edge select instead of vertex Let me go down here. Oh, well, I guess it just shows the vertices then. Anyways, uh, zoom in here. Everything looks good. Uh, some overlap right here. So let's try this. UVs pack islands, and that should make everything take up the space accordingly with no overlaps anywhere. Looks good. Looks good. Okay, so now we have them all unwrapped nicely. So, okay. Now, uh, like I said, that's gonna be that's gonna be all I'm gonna do for this part uh, 11 and part 12. I would like to go ahead and start painting his texture, but also I would like to go ahead and give him a normal map. So we're gonna we're gonna throw in um, some sculpting just to give him a few dents and things like that, just to give him some individuality. So he'll have some dents maybe on his head and maybe some kind of a uh, a rough spot where some rust has started forming and things like that. And then also I'd like to add some seams around certain places without actually having to do it like we did on the head. So uh, that's going to be all for part 
11. Go ahead and save one more time. And as soon as that's done, there we go. Okay, so that's all for part 11. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you in part 12.